Welcome to Sabeta Kiter Guide. As Gilgalad Gaming, only 5 raid bosses left until I complete the Guild Wars 2 raid boss guide series. The next boss I'm focusing will be Kadim the Peerless, with both DPS and tanking videos. If my guides are useful, you can support me by subscribing. Now let's go to kiting mechanics. Kiter is kiting the flame attacks and helping cannon people to destroy the next cannon that spawns. Cannons will spawn around the arena every 30 seconds. There are some cannon timers on Reddit you can put up to your squad message when cannon time comes up, so your players won't confuse which cannon they will go to. Now, the first thing Kiter does is kiting the flame fields called flag shots. Sabeta aims the furthest player to shoot that skill, so that is why Kiter stays far from the group. Flag shot damages the player a lot if you step on it. I know on pack groups, usually Druid does the kiting, but they also have to focus on healing and do the bombs at the same time. Also, if you have a remnant for kiting, you can capture every single green bomb by using town skill on Jail's Legend on the Bandit Snapper without having to move away from Sabeta. You should be careful if you have other classes that has town skills, they might accidentally get the green bomb if Sapper spawns around them. So they have to be conscious about if they have the bomb or shouldn't use the town skill if the Sapper is there. But here I am using my Tempest healer with full minstrel. I do depend on my skills and my healing a lot. For the reasons I will tell you now, Tempest is perfect for kiting. If you are a kiter, and flame wall spawns close to you, you will need an escape skill. You can either get something that you can teleport to the group and turn around with the boss with them, or as an elementalist, I use my mist form, which allows me to go through the flame wall without dying. And I also have lightning flash. If I miss my mist form, I can teleport to the group if I need a backup move. Also, being in a mist form doesn't prevent Tempest from getting green bombs. The kiter stand around the circle marker we put here as you can see. The primary duty of the kiter is to get green bomb from the sapper and throw it to the cannon person to launch them up to the cannons. They do launch themselves up by standing on one of these platforms. Kiter gets the green bomb, throw them under the player and they get launched up to the cannon platform. Sappers appear 5 seconds after cannon spawn. The tricky part of doing that is, before the sapper dies you will probably have not more than 2 chances to throw the bomb, because sapper gets cleaved by the group and dies, and also there will be a flame wall you have to time. On a perfect run, people will stack on the opposite side of the upcoming cannon, so for flame wall it doesn't matter who Sabata chooses, will spawn on the opposite side of the platform. So, your cannon people will be able to go to their jumping platform without waiting for the wall or without risking of dying. And cannon succeeds at the first try. But other scenario is, you get the flame wall on a random spot, your cannon person has to wait for the flame wall to pass, you possibly lose your first green bomb during the flame wall, because those green bombs only stay on your head for about few seconds and you have to wait for another green bomb to send the person to the cannon. Not ideal, but you should get ready for the worst. Also, you might wanna get skills like teleport or dash because you should stand around the circle marker, but cannon might be on the opposite side of the platform. Since you have few seconds to throw the green bomb, you can use teleport dash skills to reach to the person because throwing the green bomb has a range. One last thing, sapper spawns far from the next cannon. If the sapper spawns at the opposite side of the circle, you need to get close to the group to get the green bomb. But for my experience, kiter never ever leaves the area around the circle marker, so stay around the circle marker but just get close to the group. 
Sometimes Sapper just decides to give the green bomb to someone from someone random from the group because maybe they walked into the circle area. If they realize they have the bomb, players should throw the bomb to the cannon people. And you should keep kiting the flames as you always do. This will be all for the kiting. Let me know if you have any questions on the comments below.